Today's sponsor is SellCashier.com. SellCashier will give you a quick quote and the most cash for your iPhone. I sold an old iPhone 5 to them and it was simple, fast, and secure. When portable phones first became a thing, they were pretty durable. You could drop it and it wouldn't necessarily break. But in today's market, if you drop your phone, there's a chance it shatters. So today I'm going to be drop testing the iPhone 6, but I'm not just going to try to destroy it. I'm not going to be throwing it off a 50 foot cliff or anything. I'm going to be doing realistic drops from the pocket texting and call to see how well it actually withstands. And that's a spoiler. All right, so I'm taking a more realistic approach to the drop test. I'm going to do three different ones being out of the pocket while texting and then calling. And I'm going to kind of do them slowly to make sure it drops like fairly, but I can't control it completely. So there is a bit of randomness in it. So we're going to get started with the pocket one. So this is coming out of the pocket as if you were going to take a text, so like tilting the screen a little bit toward you as it comes out. So it'll probably land towards the back, but I can't guarantee anything. The phone is completely fine. I'm going to do it one more time because it lands straight on the back just to factor in for the randomness. So taking it out like I'm going to check something. Got caught. Both times it landed straight on the back because you're kind of tilting it as it takes out. And it is in perfect condition, but I'm going to take it closer to the camera to show. So now I'm going to do it from a texting level, still likely to land on the back, but it's more likely to bounce up and maybe hit something else. Um, so I'm just going to be holding it here when I do it. So I'm going to go active the camera. So it is recording as if I'm texting and... Again, that's straight on the back. There's n there was no screen contact to the ground, so I'm just going to do it again. That did bounce over to the screen, which is still in perfect condition. Uh, the back is definitely getting scuffed up. The camera is cracked. I'll show that close up. The camera, the protruding lens, is cracked. Um, but for texting, since it's still landing on the back, it's fine. So this one I'm going to be doing from the ear as if I was talking on the phone. This one should do the most damage, theoretically, because it's from the highest thing and it could bounce. So I'm just going to turn this camera on and then drop it. So come. That landed straight face down and the, uh, the screen is completely shattered and still functional. Touch screen's still working, but totally shattered. So I'm gonna bring that close up. So conclusion time, when you dropped it on the back, it was fine. When it was dropped on the front, it got shattered. It's still functional, so there's hope for this device, whether it be selling it or fixing it or something, but it completely shattered when it hit the front, and I think that's due to like the curvature and the design of the phone. So if it's landing on any corner, face down at all, this screen is basically gonna crack. That might lead you to use a case, which I personally am against cases, um, but in, as you could see in most of your everyday scenarios, taking it out of your pocket, which where it would drop, or texting if you bump into somebody, those are landing on the back and you will be good if it lands on the back. But if it lands on the front, you're screwed. If you like this type of video, go ahead and leave a like if you want to see more iPhone 6 content or more destruction of technology. Uh, subscribe, thank you for watching, and stay classy. Before I head out, I want to mention Cell Cashier again. Now you guys know that I would never recommend a service without trying it and enjoying it myself. CellCashier.com is really easy to navigate and find what you're looking for. When I sold my iPhone 5 to them, they sent a package with all the necessary padding, so all I had to do was drop the iPhone in and send it back out.
Cell Cashier purchases iPhones from all the major US carriers and currently only operates in the US. Their service is simple, fast, and secure. It's definitely the best way you could sell your iPhone, much better than Craigslist or eBay or any of that. All you do is get a quote, ship your phone, and then you get paid. 